KFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this very first day of July, Monday, the 1st, and we're looking at the Dow of 278 to 39,394. Just about to get to some resistance here. Uh, definitely, it is in a buy mode in the daily chart. Very nice spike to the upside. Um, <coughs> diversion. Look at this, the S&P. So we closed out. We'll talk about the monthly charts when I get back from my Tiger Technicians Hour in a few moments. But look at this. See this left side, right side, look at the vertical lines, a little bit of weakness in the S&P from that reversal at a new all time high on Friday. And yet we are still holding steady, not like the Dow, it's only up 0.24%, but it's up 12 at 54.73. Uh, look at the QQQ, a little bit weaker here. The Qs are down 18 cents at 478.74. Uh, we're looking at the same vertical test of the left side to the right side. A little bit weak here. I'm going to talk about this called Chapman. This is almost like a rogue wave, but in fact, it's more like a right arm extension. So we're going to go to the IWM, and this is going to be the fascinating uh, factor that we're looking at. The, I, the IWM, the Russell 2000, has started to move a little bit stronger over the last couple of days, and that's going to be very important to see if it's able to take out this inside track repellent zone meaning that it can get to the 205.80 level in the next week, and that'll be very important. Let's go to gold. Gold tried to rally earlier on. It's up about 2 at 23.41, holding quite steady, just in a sideways uh, consolidation. The dollar, meanwhile, has pulled back. Uh, it is down 23 ticks at 105.63, and bonds, wow, these bonds, down again. So yields are going high. Actually, it's down almost 1.5 points at 118 and 28 30 seconds that's not very good uh, we're looking at crude oil and crude oil had a rally last week and today it's holding steady up 62 at 82.16 um, trying to test that coming up to this week's uh, repellent zone and that'll be at the 83.75 area so with that said let's see where the vix is the, the volatility index right now is um, up 43 cents at 12.87 Hmm, it's up, and yet uh, you've got the big divergence between the Dow, very strong. The S&P is up a little bit, and the Qs are down a little bit. So we'll see how, how today plays out for the close. It'll be the start of the uh, new month, and we'll be checking it out. I'll be back in a moment for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Check out my opening call daily newsletter. See you in a few minutes.